So the first thing we've got to do is uh, remove the crank, uh, the gears and the pedals. Um, I'm going to start with the pedals because I think they'll be more difficult to take off after. Um, so it's easy to do it while they're still on the bike. I'm going to try it on the bike stand, see how we get on. Um, if I do need to take it off to, to pull them off, we'll have a go. So we've got this, this tool for removing the pedals. That's one pedal. Okay. That's the trailing arm pedal. Right, so there's two things we need to take off here. Um, there's the, the gears, uh, because we don't need them anymore. And then there's the crank. Now the good thing about this bike stand is it's got a place to put your tools. So as you're using them, and a place to put all your little screws and stuff, so quite useful. So it looks like missing from this kit is a pair of side cuts. So I will add these um, these side cutters to the kit, so at least you can take this cable off. So that just cuts it straight off, and then that will allow this cable to come all the way out okay so the next thing to take off is the actual gear now there's a couple of parts to this you you've got the actual mounting bracket and then you've got the bit that basically allows the the chain to go through There you can see that this one hasn't got a screw, it's actually riveted. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's going to come apart. Which means I'm going to have to Yeah, so the chain um, is going to have to come, I'm going to have to take a link out. So we've got this, which is the chain link remover. Um, and what it does is you put the chain in between and then you push this pin and it removes the, the link. So there is, on this link remover, there is actually two positions. You've got the position for a thinner chain and then a position for a thicker chain. And so we're gonna put it on the position for the thinner chain because we tried the thicker one and it didn't work. And screw the back nut up tight. See if I can get a bit closer to this. So we've screwed that back nut tight against the chain, and then we're going to push this pin out. There, that should be. There we go. So the chain's come off. So now we can remove um, this gear. Uh, so this is the front derailleur. Uh, gear changer and um, we don't need this anymore because the new crank which is the electric one doesn't have um, more than one cog and then we'll remove the chain so this might be a good time to clean the chain while it's off uh, you know maybe soak it Let it do it some good give it clean with a old toothbrush um, it'll it'll last a bit longer. So this kit comes with this tool, um, which allows you to put um, screw head bits in. There's four screw head bits, uh, two small flats and two cross head. Um, so we should be able to just pop this out. So there we go. That's the cap, um, and it's just a dust cap. So in here. We've got a double thread. So I don't know if you can see that, but the crank has got an inner thread um, that you screw a device in to pull this crank out. But first you've got to take this nut out. So to remove the crank, um, you use this, uh, a tool similar to this. Uh, depending on your crank, it, it, there's all sorts of different types of crank. Um, but this, this is the most common one. And so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this section in 
far as it'll go. So you want to use as much of that thread as you can. Um, so it's less chance to strip the threads. Screw it in as far as it can go. And then we're going to push this metal, this middle pin in, um, which is going to remove the crank. So um, it took me a while to find it, but um, actually this device does allow you to take the nut out as well. So um, we should be able to put this directly on here and put a spanner on there and remove the nut. Okay, so that's the nut out of there. Um, and now we've got to remove the actual crank, which will take um, this off. So we've screwed that in um, as far as it'll go. Um, it's pretty tight in there, uh, making sure we haven't cross-threaded it. There's about four mil of thread showing, uh, so the rest of the thread is in the crank. Going to start tightening um, this up so to push the crank off. Now this is this is probably the most difficult part of the disassembly, so it's important you spend a bit of time doing this. I've had a look in the tools that came with the bike kit, and there's nothing that will give a good grip on this. So I am going to buy for the library um, a large adjustable like this, just so you can get some leverage on this. Now I think it's going to be very easy to strip this. So I'm going to be careful and take it easy. <gasps> Thank God. Yes, that came off quite easy. Um, so yeah, um, I'll unscrew that and we'll do the same on the other side. So there we have the, the other side. Okay, so now we've got the the, the bearing assembly to take out. So um, this is where the pedals and the crank uh, and the crank arms attach. Um, there is an inner um, spline on the inside of here, and in the toolkit there is this, uh, which has got an outer spline. So Assuming this will fit in perfect, yeah. So there is two of them. There's a there's a smaller a smaller one and, and the bigger one. I guess this one is specifically for cranks. So um, I should be able to put something on there and loosen this off. So I've put the bike on the floor because I think uh, removing this is um, going to take quite a bit of pressure. Um, and I've also turned the bike around, so we're we're dealing with the trailing arm side of the bike, which is counterclockwise um, to to remove. Let's see how this goes. Well, not too bad. I was expecting it to be a bit more difficult than that. That's come out fairly easy. That's the trailing arm side. So for this side, I'm going to use, I'm going to lean over the bike and it will enable me to hold the bike while I'm trying to remove um, this last piece. So this one we're going clockwise. So this is the chain set side <sighs> whoa that took some effort and there we have it so that's the whole bearing module 